Hello everyone, welcome to the first class of Farnport tutorial. So today we're going to do a general introduction of Farnport. And also in the next series, we're going to introduce a detailed basic operation of different functionalities among Farnport. So let's get started. So very first, as we already downloaded the Farnport, once we open it, this is going to be the page showing within our site, which is our designer page. And the first, we're going to introduce the Farnport application architecture. So in here, what we see is the report designer. We can do the prepare data and the making report, two parts. So that's the designer. And also we have the display setting. So in here we have the report server, which has the deploy and the report features. So right now what we're facing is the main page of the report designer. So as we open one of the demo, you can see the detailed designer page and the content showing here. So in here, we do the data preparation, and in the next lesson, we will tell more details about that. So next, we move on to the display setting page. In here, we can do the custom deploy and integrate. And also for the report features, we use, use the major browser to display our final result for this report. So by clicking the preview, we're entering one of the browser. In here, we're using the Chrome. And this is one of the sample demo reports and as you can see we have the query function and you can see the final result of the demo report that we're making so after making the report from the designer we have the displaying page to show in the report and also you can have different options such as printing exporting and email and we have more options as we introduce more in the future lesson so this is a basic report that we're making so from this site we're going to open another pre-made sample, which is our dashboard to show another data visualization. So once again, we're going to click the preview from the designer, entering the display page. So this is another sample of our data visualization. So the display page is under the report features and we use the main browser to display the report. So basically we have the designer and also we have the server making the report and also showing the report. So that's a basic architecture of our farm report. So besides these two parts, we also have a platform. So by entering sub under it, we have the third option, platform management. So by clicking here, we were entering the farm report decision making platform. And also the account is set by default, which is a demo account. All right. So right now we're already entering a farm report decision making platform. And we have two main category, directory and manage. So first we have the directory. And as you can see, we have the different directory under this category. So the directory is mainly used for the users. And the you know, enterprise level, we use directory to share information, to view information, different reports. So let's just open a couple more samples in this page. So in a company, they might put different information, different report under the directory for staff to use and also have different options for the reports exporting and submit. And also let's go back to the homepage. This is the sample homepage, which is the Farnport official site. So the company can set up their own homepage as well. So next we are entering the manager system, the other category. So the manage button is mainly facing the web administrator. So in other words, the message manage button is used to maintain the daily operation for the uh, platform. So we have different options for the system setting. So from the directory all the way to map configuration, these are all different settings. And in the future lesson, we will introduce more about the different settings. And also let's just try a little bit to set up our directory from this setting page. So in here, we're gonna manage our directory. So for example, we can add a template and also add more templates from this uh, directory setting page. And it's very easy to do the operate. Once we select the page we want to show in our main directory, we will go back to the directory to see the final result. So as we click back to the directory, as you can see in the down part, besides the dashboard, we have the 
to report, we just upload from the directory. So the idea is directory for showing and manage for system setting. So that's our decision making platform. All right, so go back to the designer. Next, we're going to do a brief introduction of the Firepower mobile app. So the very first, we're going to enter in our official site for Fireport, and in the end of this video, I will do more uh, introduction about the official site. So what we're showing here is the Fireport official site. And also we're gonna click on the product, on it, we'll have the try demo. So by entering here, we can also enter in the decision-making platform using the default setting account. So once we click the login, we can see the demo decision-making platform. And in here, we don't have the manager button. That's because this is used for the official site showing. So we need to use this address to set up our mobile app setting. And let's do that. So from the data analyze tab, mobile app, by entering here, we're gonna do the server option from the phone, demo English. And as you can see in here, we have the menu input for the server. And also for this pass, it's gonna be the pass for entering the decision-making platform in the mobile app. So once we open it, we have the directory, the common, the message and the setting for main category. So the fine part decision-making platform showing in the mobile app can also be used in the daily work. So right now we're showing the different samples from this uh, mobile app. So as you can see, we have the progress bar. And also let's do another data visualization showing. So this is showing from the mobile app data visualize. And for the mobile use, we can expand in the individual and also do a customer drawing from this mobile app. So this is our Firepower mobile app. Besides using the designer from the computer, by using different mobile terminal, we can also enter in the platform. All right. So now let's go back to the main designer. We're going to introduce different sections from this site. So very first, we'll have the top section. It's our toolbar section. We have the fire template insert, cell server, and help. So in here, you can do different setup for the designing. So fire, and also in here, we have the template setting. So these are all the advanced settings for the fire part designer. So in the insert, we can use in this part to insert different elements. Also the row and column. So for the cell option, we'll have different editing options for cell. And also besides it, we'll have the server option. So in here, we're gonna do the advanced settings such as define the data connection. So the data connection is a very important step. And we'll introduce how to define a data connection in the next lesson. So last, we'll have the helping button. So in here, we can have different options for using help. So let's just enter in the data connection to have a look about the setting page. So in here, we already have the full database connection. So in your enterprise level, they often use this page to define the data connection to connect the designer to different uh, database. All right, so that's the top section for the toolbar. So move on to the left section, upper part, we have the fire store place. So in here, by clicking different fire, we can open different templates. And also you have this uh, button for the different fire options. And if we open the store option, open the folder where it's storing, you can see the default store location, which is the report list under the fire part. So that's gonna be our default uh, template store location. So next, move on to the down part. On the left, we have the dataset area. So in here, we can create a different dataset and uh, we're gonna introduce the idea of dataset in the future lessons. And dataset is very important for designers to use. 
So in here we have the DS1 dataset. If we're clicking on the region, drag them all the way to the designer. So in here we already have the region binding in this corresponding cell. All right, so next we're gonna move on to the top section. So this is our format section. And also we have different advanced settings for the format and also the save button and the preview button. So the preview button is using for display the final report. So let's move on to the middle page, upper section. We have the parameter setup page. So in here, by clicking the little pencil, we enter in the setup page for the parameter. And as you can see, we have different widget style for the parameter using. So we're gonna introduce the idea of parameter in the future lessons as well. So move on to the down part, we'll have the Excel-like uh, designer page. So as we zoom in it, we'll have the different options for the report designer. So this is where we do the actual designing. So last, let's move on to the right side. As we're expanding, we'll have the right-hand pane. So this is all advanced settings for the designing process. We we'll have the cell element, cell attributes. And so we'll have the float element, the widget setting, that's for the data entry. Also we have the conditional formatting. And last we have the hyperlink. So we'll introduce all of these features in the following class. Right now we're just showing the right hand pin for the designer. So that's gonna be everything for the designer introduction. All right, so by far we already have a brief introduction of the farm port, including the designer, the platform, the display page, and in the future lessons, we'll teach you how to use in Prime Pod through different features. So right now, we're going to enter in our official site website for the Prime Pod to do a little bit of introduction of our official site. So follow this up link, you can enter in the official site for Prime Pod. And in here, you can do the business connecting contact, and also all the information can be found from this page, such as how to download different versions. So let's move on to the very top. We're going to once again enter in the try demo section to give you a better look for the demo version, different template. All right, so once again, we're already entering the decision making platform. And under the directory, we have a lot of different uh, pre made report models for you to use. And then right now, let's open from the dashboard. I'm going to show different samples. So in here, we already opened the sales management. That's going to be one of the data visualization reports that we made. You can always go back to this demo platform to learn more about different report style. So that was the try demo under the product section. And also we have the download activation and the release history. So besides, we'll have the Wi-Fi part for more information. The features tells you about different functionalities about Fine Parts. And also we'll have the About Us and Language Setting. So very important, we'll have the resource. So under it, we'll have the Helping Document. So the Helping Document is very important for the tutorial. So by clicking here, we're already entering the main site for the Helping Document. So the Fine Part Helping Document is another form of the learning material besides the video tutorial. You can always go to this site to learn how to use FarmPort. And right now we're showing the introduction of FarmPort. And uh, if we go down to the directory, we have different sections for the tutorial. So for example, under the quick start, we can learn how to set a database connection and dataset from the FarmPort designer. So we'll keep updating more learning material from this site for users to learn. So besides learning from the video tutorial, we can always go to this helping document site to learn different details about how to use uh, FarmPort. All right, guys, that's everything from the lesson zero, a brief introduction of FarmPort. Thanks for watching. We're gonna see you in the next class.